There's a statistic which is one woman a week dies at the hands of violence. Back in the days, I used to get like really like deep when someone said, oh, you're black, or you're the N-word, or you're this and that, or go back to your country, but now it's like something that I'm used to. So I wanted to represent that in cranes as a tribute to those women that have lost their lives. It's just pretty ridiculous that women have to lose their lives, that anyone has to lose their life to violence. And um, it's just a shame that it has to happen in close quarters where um, you're not only being physically abused, but you're also being mentally abused and emotionally abused. Like, there is so much that comes with it and it's, it's really important to me that um, their voices are heard. Yeah, with physical violence, sexual, sexual assault and stuff like that, like I've experienced all of that and honestly all of my friends have experienced it too. When I was open to one of my best friends, like she was, she was actually open to me and then I was able to be open to her and we were both like, oh, we've all been through this and then she remembered someone else who'd been through it and she's like, oh, we've all been through this, this, this and this. Like how crazy is that? I think it's something that you kind of know. You kind of know it in the way that they speak and the way, the way that they hold themselves and the way that you hold yourself. I feel like you kind of just tuck it away and it's not, it shouldn't be tucked away. Um, most, most of my artworks are inspired by my upbringing, like travelling from Africa with my family and most of my artworks focus on like social issues. So one of my outs have been on police brutality, um, Eurocentric beauty standards, racism, and many other things I've, I've faced being here in Australia. Just like indirect racism, just things that you, you come up on, like just on the road, just people walking across the road, or people just saying, oh, you're black, da, 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 all this other stuff. Back in the days, art was more something I used to deal with stuff that I went through. So it was more like, oh, if I was ever gone, if I was ever angry about something or somebody said something to me, I can go home and just paint it. Everything that I, I'm hot bottling in just goes off and disappears and I'm just left with me in the painting. The most recent artwork I have now, um, that one was greatly like, influenced by my mum. It represents her journey to where she is today and the, all the stuff that she's been through, you know, fighting for freedom, fighting abuse, fighting racism, fighting loss, like losing so many people, like she was the only one in her family and she still put that all aside and all the um, obstacles that she faced coming from Africa to here to give us the opportunity that we have today. I think there's something, there's an underlying, you know that you've all been through something but you're not really willing to talk about it, like how can you have that conversation, how can you start it? I think yeah that's really important, I think art's a really good way to do that.